special meeting for Grace County Commission. Um, September 13th, Friday at uh, 2.38 p.m. in the commissioner's room. So first, first thing is to uh, every stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yep, thank you, people. Um, first thing is to uh, look at the agenda and approve the agenda. Uh, take oh, roll first call. First thing is that we, yeah, first a roll call, sorry. First roll call, the first things we'll do is, uh, Edlin. Here. Uh, Avril. Uh, he's going to be late, possibly attending, but not really sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, Zorn. Here. And Cranby's here by Zoom. So, uh, look, everybody take a look at the agenda. I mean, a motion to approve the agenda, if it's, if it so seeks. I make a motion to approve the agenda. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Thank you. Okay, first order of business, or uh, every, every in favor of the agenda? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, uh, only one item on the agenda is Wakefield's resignation letter. Um, I don't know, I guess the, the thing I need a, a motion from somebody to accept it. So move. Okay, do you have a second? I'll second that. Okay. Um, should we, uh, I think here, let's do a roll call vote in this one. Who's here, okay? I'd rather do it that way. So, um, Edlin? Aye. Zorn? Aye. Tramby votes aye. So, motion passes. So, on that one, so. The next, I suppose, next item order of business is is to appoint the chairman. Correct, Sam. Uh, Jamie, can you can tell you... me what I'm what the process is here? Well, it, without an acting chairman, Scott, you can act as the chairman. You're the vice chair, so in the absence of a chairperson, um, you should be the one that acts. The vice chair acts as the chairperson. Right. Um, so as of right now, you're the chairperson. Uh, okay. Think from there, the next door. The next thing to do would be to work on trying to find someone to appoint to fill a position. It would be okay. for the two-year term until the expiration of the term in 2024. My okay. suggestion, from what I've what's been done in the past, this has happened a couple of times in Nelson County. Uh, what we've done in the past is advertise and have had those who have been interested submit a letter of interest and have interviewed uh, potential commissioners and then appointed from there. And I, that would be my suggestion to you guys to do it that way. So you have an interested or, or have a pool of interested people to and be a commission. If, if, we do, if, um, we get a, if we get a pool of people interested, if we do, or one person interested, does it have to go to a vote of a citizen or is it just a fill position until there is an election? It would, yeah. It would be an appointment by the commission until that term is expired, so the two-year term. Unfortunately, we're Just past like the point board. that we can put it on the ballot, on ballot this okay. year. Right. So if vote. this would have if this would have had would have occurred in August of this year instead of after the deadline for the ballot, um, then it likely would have been able to go on this year's ballot. So since the the next presidential election, the next two-year election is until twenty twenty-four, it would be for the for the unexpired term up until the next election. Okay. That makes sense. And then uh, okay. who would take the board that John is on? He did let me know that he is on the senior center or the senior citizens board and they meet on Tuesday, October 15th. Any, any volunteers? Sure, Sam. You have time from now until then to make that appointment as well as if you don't want to wait, if you want to wait until the next meeting, you do have time. So I can get the yeah. boards that he's on 
to everybody and then we can talk about it at the next meeting. Sounds right to me. We all, I, I suppose, Jamie, but we need to appoint a vice chairman though, don't we? Or not? You can you can do it now or you can wait until, yeah, you can appoint a vice, vice chair um, or you can wait until you appoint a new person and go that direction. It's up to you guys. What do you, what do you guys thought? I'm okay wait until Josh is here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'll do advertise. We, uh, Jamie, when we do this advertising, now are we going to set ourselves a deadline to how, you know, do we just keep looking or how do we do this? Uh, you can set a deadline if you want to do it for October 15th, have the deadline, or or today is, I, I guess you could do it for October 15th, you could do it for the end of September, whatever date you guys want. Okay. So it's October or September 13th, think, think a month's long enough, guys? September, October 15th, what is that? So if I put it in the paper on the 20th and the 27th, that would be for two weeks, I would then open it up, we could talk. Okay, so that should almost run for a full month, shouldn't it? Do you want to? Four weeks? Do you think it should run for a month? That's up to you guys. Two, week, two weeks for a position, a, a paid position is the minimum. This, it doesn't really make any difference, however long you guys want to do it. Um, you guys are working towards appointing. If you guys want to do it for for four weeks, that's the, the reason why we advertise for two weeks. It's just the minimum required by state law to do that. So if you guys want to do it for, for four weeks, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Okay. And then have it go, like, so? discuss it on your 21st meeting. Yeah. Let's do that. We could do that. So I would suggest a letter of interest in addition to a resume or, I, I guess, whatever you guys want. But but that's what I have done in the past or that Nelson County has done in the past is to fill a position. Um, you could do whatever qualifications you want. Just a simple letter of interest. That's that's fine too. Okay. Yeah, I think a letter of interest would be fine. I don't think we need a full blown resume. Right. We need to make it tough. Uh, Can I have the deadline be the 17th so that then any letter of interest that I get, I will include it in your packet being sent out on the 18th and then you guys will discuss it on the 21st? That sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Rod? Yeah, I'm good with that. I think that should be a motion. Okay. Do I have some motion now, please? I'll make that motion. Okay. Thank you, Rod. I'll second. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. Okay, thank you, Jeff. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And all opposed, same sign. Motion carries. I vote yeah, anyway. I vote yes. All right. <laughs> so, one of those days. It's hard to be here by Zoom, by the way, people. It is. <laughs> Not the easiest, but anyway, so. Is there anything else we need to cover? Oh, yeah. Well, we can't, we can't go off the agenda anyway, I suppose, anything else put on it, so. No. Nope. Can't go off the agenda, that's correct. Yep. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that motion. Hey, that's my, that's my line. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second that. Anyway, do, do it. Thanks, Rod. Appreciate it. So, is that a motion to adjourn this? Do it. I'm going to put it this way. Give me a. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Same thing. Motion. Motion carries. Motion carries. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Yep. Thanks. The next meeting is when? Um, next meeting again, Sam? Monday, September 23rd September at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m.
Third, okay. Okay, well, thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Thank you.